Hello guys, welcome to another awesome video and today we are here with one of Cameroon's finest artists. Let's allow him to introduce himself, so. Good morning, Mr. Galvin and Zillionaire's family. Yeah. My name is Tiafak M. Toka and uh, you're welcome to my studio. I am an artist, I'm an art teacher, body painter, uh, creative director, an actor for the stage and camera, and also yes, truly a director for the stage only. I'm a whole lot of things, but I just like to identify myself as an artist. Yeah, basically, that's, that's me. Wow. So, so I would love to get how you began um, your journey to where you are presently. Oh, it's, it's, it's a very short story. It's not very long. For as long as I can remember, I've always been drawing. That's, that's it. When I was young, my father brought in somebody in the house to help with my elder brother. Yes, my elder brother to, you know, he showed a lot of interest in art drawing and painting so my father brought somebody to teach him so i'll see this small tear fan then and just excited watching people you know draw and i started picking one of the few things then when this guy left my my my, my elder brother was left with the talent so what better to do than to teach me obviously i was a junior man and i was beside him and i was willing to learn so for as long as i can remember i've been drawing but professionally i started Drawing professionally when I got to up seat, lower seat. I started practicing professionally lower seat. I started drawing. I started doing art professionally in up seat. Then when I entered the university, I, I applied for performing and visual art. I wanted to continue or further my studies in art. But when I got there, I realized that that department was not very developed. So I had to go with the flow. So what was developed there at that time, at the time rather, it's not very far. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, what was really developed there was theatre art, so I had to blend in. So I started acting on stage, started directing. I directed my first play in 2019. Yes, 2019. 2018, 2019, yes. When I was when I from the university. I think yes, that was the first play and I did my second when I joined the ID Theatre Troupe. That has been a family. I think when I, acted, when I acted for the first time on stage, people loved it and they started knowing me as an actor and everything. Then I gradually grew as an actor while pursuing my career as an artist because it's been something I've always loved to do. So most of my drawing talents are based on what the people I've met in life and uh, you know, some YouTube videos, Facebook videos, YouTube, uh, or rather Google search and everything. And also from mentors, you know, mentors around and my friends who are talented enough to help me. From you know drawing and painting, it's easy to say I'm a body painting artist. I also do interior deco. The, the whole thing is just when you are when you are a painter, everything just flows. Everything just flows. I, I can remember one of my mentors saying that when you are a painter, it's like you can do every you can prostitute in every sector of the arts, and that's true. Although they are very shy people, so they stay still. <laughs> So you're kind of a prostitute when it comes to joy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a, yes, I'll say I'm a prostitute of the art because I do a little bit of everything. Wow. I, I'm, a, I'm a painter mainly, yes, but I, I dabble. Okay. So what does it take for someone who maybe just has an interest in art but has never drawn before? What does it take for that person to get into this journey? And how long can that person take to become, let's say, an expert or a professional? Well, there's a statement: artists are not made; they are born. Although somewhere along the line, if you really start practicing from a very early age, if you are not born to be an artist, you can still, you know, catch manage up. to yes to catch up. But trust me, not everybody was meant to draw and paint. Yes, not everybody was meant to draw and paint. So if you're watching this, dear Zillionaires, not everybody was meant to draw and paint. It's okay to just admire from a distance. So if you want, if you really are passionate about drawing, but you cannot you know, exhibit the talent. I would rather you become an art critic or, or an appreciate, uh, or someone who appreciates art. You can go to an artist and the person teaches you how to appreciate brush strokes and everything. You must not necessarily be an artist. But if you have the talent, that is if you can prostitute like me, from somewhere you can, you know, dive in here. Or if you were born an artist, it, it, it's, 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 it's something that is always there. You just need some guidance and everything, like when I teach. I don't know, teach them how to draw. I just simply, you know, bring out what's already there to make it more pronounced. Like, if you're drawing a line like this, just draw it straight. You don't tell an artist that, or well, you want to draw a line, you hold your pencil like this. You no, you just simply say, draw a straight line. Now take a square and draw it with a. You, you, 
that's how you speak yes so wow. somebody who's born to do this yeah so do you organize training sessions for maybe someone who wants to better their skills and when is your next training session if you do that maybe the price that if possible well about that first i would say i believe that uh, the people who really want to learn how to draw, the people who can really do the thing, most of them cannot afford it. So I teach for free, I train for free, and there is no time period particularly. It is just, it is just um, uh, any time. As long as you have my number, you text me, we we'll fix your time that is suitable for you and everything, then you can start attending classes. For as long as I deem it worthy for you to stay, and if I feel like, okay, this person is good enough to start working on their own, then fine. Wow. Yeah. So can you tell us some of the services you render your what you produce and how someone can get to you for some of your designs or what you render here? Well, here, yeah, I teach here, yes, my students come here. I paint, I draw, I do body painting, interior decor. And uh, the other part, which is more of, I would say, entertainment, which is more of... Uh, acting and uh, creative directing and uh, directing for the stage and production design for movie sets yes i think that's another main one i did not mention production design for movie sets every other thing happens away from here my platforms are all the same Jeff can talk Jeff can talk either way so what if someone's order made one of your services maybe a pen design how can they get to you you just get to me directly on my whatsapp 682 71 2019 or you just go to my Facebook page and text me there, Tiafak M. Tonka. I'm Tiafak M. Tonka on Facebook, Tiafak M. Tonka on Instagram. Practically, just type Tiafak M. Tonka anywhere wow. that you want. So guys, we're going to add um, a link to his social media handle in the description box below. So if you're watching this video, I'd love to get to him. Then just go check it out. So sir, before we ask you your last question, we should be your know, award to anyone out there who loves to get into this um, designing. We love you to please your family as Ella said to please subscribe to this channel. Uh, okay. <laughs> For everybody who is interested in what I do and you know trust in what I do and follow me, please you guys should follow the seniors. <laughs> yeah. And also subscribe to their page and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when they release the first video, you'll be the first person to know. Wow. So so I would love to get a word of advice to anyone out there who wants to get into this painting. But it's really doubting whether if you get this painting or and one thing I don't know can someone get this painting also as um a source of living like bent on just painting alone with no job aside so first of all I'll say this if you are an artist in Africa particularly in Cameroon don't be too bent on the fact that you're going to make money out of that. You can easily make money out of business and everything, but as an artist, it's 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 usually very difficult finding your your passion, following your passion at the same time, wanting that passion to put foot on your table. It is really really tough. So what I will tell you is that the most amazing thing about being a painter or an artist in general, being music or anywhere in the art, is the fact that you can do this and some other thing at the same time although you know artists like a, a second girlfriend it's usually very very jealous and always wants to keep you to itself but you can still struggle if you really love it that much you can really still struggle and do art and something else so i advise that you get into something that you know brings you in raw cash mostly technical then you can use that cash now to sponsor your art i know models who sell wigs i know um, uh, Artists who work as financial secretaries, who work as secretaries. I know models who do nails, makeup, and everything. I know a lot of artists who do a lot of things, and they use that money to sponsor their arts. I personally, I do production design. That is where I get the money to sponsor my paintings. And right? I know that I'm going to eat from it, yes, but it's maybe it's not now. You know, most of us will not want to see us spoon that. You already have everything you need for your growing up. But why you don't have that? You have to be working. I do production design. I do interior decor. So that is what gives me money to sponsor my art. So if you're out there as an artist, it is okay to want to be an artist and not have enough money. Just simply look for something to you know parallel with it. And if you, for painters, drawers, please. Painting is not the only form of fine art there it is. Please, don't leave your pencil, don't leave your pen, don't leave your sculpture, don't leave your photography dive into painting because you feel like painting gives more money 
you are an artist, you're not in it for the money, you're in it for the art. So please, my dear out there, young artists coming up, age mates or older people who feel like these words of encouragement is helping, you can make pencil the painting of you for you. You can make um, a, 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 a pen. You can make, I know a lot of awesome pen artists. I know John Mosco, I know Muka Espahani, I know a lot of anatomy artists call it in French bidding, band this name, picture drawings that they do, you know, these comics, yes. Yeah. I know Top Right, I know Muka Ispahani, I know good painters, I know Bidias Romeric, I know Cesar Langue, I know God Mark. There are a lot of painters and pencil artists. I know Joel, Nyabi Joel, I know um, um, Carl. There are a lot of pencil artists, pen artists, painters, sculptors. I know um, Creative Kwame, who is a fine, very, very beautiful, I'm a, I'm a photographer. I know a lot of people excelling in their domain, not in another person's domain, in their domain, just simply because they have accepted that this is who I am and they are concentrating on that part. Wow. You have mentioned a lot of names. I don't know if they're watching this video, but Obviously, we'd love to do a shout out to them, a shout out to all of you guys who have mentioned here. And I don't know if you have a mentor, we'd we'll love to give out a shout out to that mentor as well. Yeah, yeah, I do. Romaric Bidias. Wow, a shout out to you, Romaric. Obviously, Romare. it's good to be watching this. Wow, wow. Thank you so much for mentoring him to this point where we found it necessary to bring him on board. And guys, that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing for more videos. So you'll be notified by YouTube when we release more awesome videos. Until then, peace out.